Yeah, good afternoon everyone. How are you doing today? Happy new month to you all. Um, hope you've marked out plans for February. And hope you have um, um, goals planned marked out to attain your goals. It is expedient to have plans. So as not to just to be dreamy and not, you know, putting effort to attainment of our goals. It said that what you are uh, today is, was what you were yesterday and what you'll be tomorrow is dependent on what you do today. So go out, get things done. Don't be lax about all these things. They are tenable. Anything a man can do, you can do as well. And like you know, I'm always here to talk about real estate and give you um, advices and um, opportunities to invest in real estate and lots of other uh, dividends that accrue from real estate. And today I'll be talking about five reasons why you should invest in real estate in Nigeria. And number one is that birth rate supersedes death rate. It is said statistically that 21 kids are always born every day in the whole 36 states in Nigeria. And those are the ones that are recorded. There are lots of ones that are recorded. You know, a lot of ones that are unverifiable. And it said that 21, can you imagine 21? So that means birth rate supersedes death rate. And as long as birth rate supersedes death rate, people would grow to need real estate. People would grow to need shelter. People would grow to need housing. People would grow to need uh, uh, lands for farming. People would grow to need lands to, to, to build them. Yeah malls, healthcare facilities, schools, shops, and all these things. So real estate is key because birth rate supersedes death rate. And also, youths are growing. They are leaving their parents' house. They need to start their own lives. They will need shelter to rent and as well shelter when they decide to build. Can you see? Lots of... Uh, there was a time I was driving along and I saw lots, herbs out of kids coming out from a secondary school, a certain secondary school in Abelkuta. And I was like wondering, like, what, what does the future hold for these kids? You know, lots of them. And they will need real estate. So real estate will always be expedient for the uh, uh, continuance of, of humanity. And secondly, rural urban migration. You know, in the bid to uh, in the bid for decent life, um, job opportunities, and um, you know the so-called um, urbanization um, groove and all that, people are migrating from the rural settlement, the interland, to the uh, metropolis, and with that also comes the need for real estate. Because when people come, when they migrate from rural to urban, they will need to live. They will need to have a. a uh, jobs, uh, you know, job employment needs, uh, companies also need lands to build, businesses need lands, uh, offices to, to, to have their employees working. So real estate is also expedient because when people move from rural to urban, there'll be a need for shelter, there'll be a need for uh, a job employment, there'll be a need for farming and all these things that is contingent on real estate. So the rural urban drift also requires real estate. Uh, secondly, uh, sorry, thirdly, uh, uh, rural development. In a bid to dissuade uh, uh, rural to urban drifts, the government are speedily, swiftly developing the, the internet by providing basic amenities like roads, like schools, like shelter, like uh, uh, healthcare facilities to, uh, to dissuade the, the move, the drift. And even at that, you will still need shelter because people, at least if people are not going from rural to, uh, to the urban, they will need shelter, they will need, uh, um, what's it called now, uh, uh, jobs, they will need to farm, they will need to do all these things. And these things are still related, entwined, and still contingent on real estate, on land, on housing, on farms, you know. If, if uh, an investor wants to invest in, in a rural area, wants to start, uh, let's assume, uh, a hotel, he will need to get the land. He need to start a school, he need to get the land. He need to build um, filling stations, he need to get the land. He need to do any business, retail outlet, and all, he need to get the land. So real estate is key. 
key. And the government thank God uh, uh, for the likes of um, the Ogo State, um, uh, the incumbent government in Ogo State that is trying to develop um, uh, rural areas, the internet, by providing housing, providing, uh, what is it called now, good roads, you know, motorable roads, electricity and all. So these things are still contingent on real estate because when people, even if it's been dissuaded that they should not move from rural to urban, you still need to provide housing, you still need to provide jobs, you need to provide all these things that are still dependent on real estate. Fourthly, a housing deficit in Nigeria is up to 22 million, 22 million, and it is, a, it is cumbersome for the, for the government. So that is why it is wise for the public and private partnership so as to lessen, to, 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 to dwindle this housing deficit, 22 million in the whole of Nigeria. And it's kind of adults for the government to provide uh, housing for, for everybody for the 22 million deficit. So it is wise for public-private partnership. And when the private private investors come into this, they will key into these things, they will provide value, they will provide housing for, 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 for people, and they're about making it, uh, getting lucrative uh, benefit, profitable benefit from investing in real estate. Because you know, land would always be in need. People will always be in need of land. People will always be in need of land. And you know, it is just basic economics, demand and supply when the demand is high and there's no supply and when the supply is is modicum uh, value increase god has stopped creating land and there will always be a need for it so demand would uh, would skyrocket supply is limited value comes around so you should uh, i'm talking to the private investors now key into this this opportunity it's it's it's, it's a massive opportunity that will bring about immense benefit for you the government can't do much to provide 22 uh, housing units in the whole of Nigeria. There are a lot of things the government can do, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's more like cumbersome for them. So this calls for the private investors to invest in real estate. And lastly, financial security. Real estate brings about financial security because, you know, that bush you're looking at will develop or become a city one day. Uh, 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 it will increase in value because there will be a need for it. Like I mentioned earlier, demand and supply. There will always be a need for real estate. And when the supply is limited, the demand and demand is increasing, value accrues, appreciation accrues. It it will it will it will skyrocket. People need it, and because people are in need of it, they'll pay they'll pay anything for it. They'll pay any amount for it. I know with that amount, let's assume you are investing for, uh, um, what's it called, uh, uh, cash flow. Cash flow comes about, you have an, a, a rental apartment, and you put it out for debt, and you get your cash flow uh, monthly or yearly, annually. You can get that, or capital gains when you just buy and you, you sell after two, three, four, five years. That is capital gain, just get your ROI straight up. So with this, with this, with this uh, uh, ROI, you can put aside funds, if you're not profligate, if you're frugal enough to put aside funds that can help you meet financial obligations. Because as you grow, you will need money. As you grow, you need money. So when the need for money arises, you have stashed funds available to meet those obligations. You know, when your rental income comes monthly or annually, you have money stashed somewhere. So when the need for it comes, you can easily get it out. Not that you'll be stranded and, and, and you know, beggarly or go for loans and all that. So real estate provides financial security. Yeah, the list are inexhaustible, but yet I'm just here to give you five. Maybe some other time I'll, I'll talk extensively on, on, on the rest. But trust me, go nowhere, call Orumide Andre on 081-442-10959 to get you started for your real estate um, advices and consultancy or consultation. Uh, do you need to manage your properties? Do you need to, uh, uh, do you need one to start um, investing? I can, to start your uh, real estate investment portfolio, I can get, help you get started. Just call me up on 081-442-10959. 
Thank you very much. I remain your real estate extraordinaire, Olumbi Andre. Bye for now.